Hey, howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome back. I'm Ewan, and today in the co-pilot seat is... <gasps> Hi, I'm Dave. Yeah, he... he has a name? Oh. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm West Ninja on Twitter. There we go, now I know. And you're Econ Wright. Yeah. With an intercap W. Yeah. Yeah. Economist Wrights. It's true. Welcome to Waikiki. We're gonna shoot things on it. Uh oh Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this date. Uh oh I already forgot what the date was. Well, was December? Do, you, do you know what happened in America, in Hawaii? Pompeii exploded. <laughs> in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, boy. Did you expect a real answer? No. All right. Hmm. I guess we'll never know. Do, 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 oh, that do, wasn't do, the video? Do. That was you just standing there? Kind of. He died. Uh, I need hour. to find... You keep clean for There's that guy. Oh, the turning is terrible. I love it. Tank controls? No. Ugh. It's I, just hard to use. Camera. All right, where's the fire extinguisher? Gotta check my mail. Do, 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 do. This game is two player as well for the entire story. Why? I don't know. I played through it with my younger brother. It was pretty on, lit. Jump Boink. Jump Watch is triangle. Yes. Crouch is square. Oh, that's so weird. Usually it's X and circle. Where's action? Oh, do you want me to help you, but... Oh, never mind. It, for some reason, I didn't clue on to that you're on a ship. Until <laughs> just now. Like, why a is ship an in Hawaii. What kind of weird train are you on? Engine. engine. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, he's even holding it wrong. No, it's fine. So. I'm used to fire extinguishers that have the, uh, the squibbly hose on it. Mm -hmm. And not a CO2 fire extinguisher. <laughs> the rubber ice hose, that's good. <laughs> the squiggly boy. Yeah. Do, 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 There's do, a TikTok do. video of a dude who puts a fire extinguisher in his mouth and he like depresses the handle and it's like out his mouth and out his nose and like a little squirt from his eye. Oh no. Yep. That is so stupid. Do, do, do. I should show it to you later. So what is with TikTok? <laughs> what do you mean? I've never really used it. I've just seen some of the videos. Yeah, me too. I'm the same way. And it's videos from the that looks of it, have... it's a bunch of stupid kids. Yeah. Really, really stupid. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Save us. save us! I can save the game instead. Fred. Nice. Sure. I'm Fred. Confirm. Yeah, empty save slot. Okay. All right. I like it. We're I just, Fred. I just want the mission where I get to use the well rod. I like well. the old games where you're Jimmy Patterson. Well rod? Yeah, the well rod pistol. It's oh. Silenced one. I like, did you mean welding rod? Just a little pokey thing? Just, eh. Back. You're dead. Ugh. Oh, was I supposed to help you not die? It's fine. That's okay. You're gonna die anyways. He'll be fine. Do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. It's Pearl Harbor. We're don't, 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 don't. in Hawaii. You spoiled it! It's Pearl Harbor! The game tells you. Yeah. It's a day of infamy. Alright, pass me the gun. It's not gonna do any good. I gotta grab one of the biggie guns. Jingle bells, wrong kind of shells. He's got a shotgun to shoot down planes. Oh, this is so old. It could be firing slugs. It's like birdshot. <laughs> but they are flying, right? Alright, kamikazes. Okay, I gotta take you. What if it was shooting like incendiary rounds? <laughs> like, only when I'm the thermite. That'd be pretty good. Shoot down some just planes. Stainless steel, just. I don't know. Brown slugs. So, the only reason I've ever played this game is because my father got it way back when. He used to love the old Medal of Honor games. 
I've never played any of them. I have played many of them. Well, the only shooter games I'm interested in is Borderlands. Oh, have you gotten back into it? No. But I have put 130 hours in Borderlands 1. Nice. Ooh. Which makes no sense. You can beat the game in like 60 on the hardest difficulty. 60 hours. Yeah. All right. I like it. With the exception of the tel uh, Telltale games, I can't stand it. <laughs> if I want to watch a movie, I watch a movie. I sit here and wait for press X. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and wait for you to tell me what I want to do. I want to watch an hour-long cutscene and play Metal Gear. Ooh, yeah. I saw that on your shelf earlier. Deep cuts, yo. Hooray! Shot down. It's Shadow over. Range. That means you win. You never have to play it again, right? I don't know about that. Oh man. Uh, forever to save. It's got a multiplayer. That's what you say. Locally, for like verses. It's just you and one other person versing each other. Ooh. Yeah, because you're supposed to have the weird controller thing. Oh, multi tap. The... And the game's all connected. It's really goofy. Um, according to the box that I have in my hands, it says online broadband only. And I have a broadband modem that I can connect to it. Do you think the servers still exist? <laughs> oh, I hope so. The game from 2003? Wouldn't that be amazing? Just one person keeping it alive, just waiting for someone else? Yeah, they've been sitting on there for years. Yeah. And then you lose to them every time. Do you think you can keep the PS2 running for 17 years? Probably, it's pretty good for so. I mean, I still have mine. It still works. I haven't even had to clean the laser on it yet. Really? Yeah. They're sturdy consoles. Close to Microsoft Garbo. A lot of those Microsoft consoles just break instantly. I have a really dumb story about Ooh, tell me. Okay. So, my sister's previous boyfriend, uh, this was a couple years ago, had a PS2, and we were like all visiting him in the big city. So I like sat down to play, and it, it wouldn't spin up any of the games anymore. It's like, oh yeah, it's broken, I'm just gonna throw it away. What? So I, I got a screwdriver and I like took it apart, and cleaned it all out, and got rid of the dust, and cleaned out the laser, and put it back together. And it worked. Oh. And that's what I did for like two days. <laughs> it's even more fun than playing on it. Yeah. No, I like put it back together and I got to play it. I was just gonna get rid of it. And so I played, uh. Uh. Snake Eater? Big Snake? Ooh, one of the Metal Gears? Metal Gear is such a good series, but also has terrible, terrible writing. I agree. But, <laughs> I don't know. It's, I've got a soft spot for it. For the original. I don't know. Uh, five is pretty... It's fine as long as you don't think about it. Yeah. You take everything at face value. Yep. Oh man, they all have superpowers? What about all the people that I've mowed down to get here? Do they have superpowers too? What In about the later ones, they try to explain it by like, Oh, nanomachines! Yeah. It's the nanomachines powering their superpowers. And like, this guy's making ghosts. What the freak are you talking about? Yeah. He can read our mind with nanomachines? And somehow plugging in a different controller makes him not read our mind, so... Also, the weird game breaks where it's like, Oh yeah, we're reading your save datas. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see you played it on a lot of this Konami game. Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Phantom <laughs> Menace. I don't remember his name. Uh, so I played the Snake Eater for the 3DS, Ooh. and you can make your own patterns for your camouflage. Oh, cool. And I made one out of the worst, brightest, ugliest thing I could find. And it gave me nearly 100% camouflage all the time. Weird. But I took pictures of actual camouflage and it's like, eh, 40% of the time it'll work. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? This one's pink, yellow, and green. And it works great. It was just a bunch of fruit. <laughs> like, oh my god. You're hiding in a paint factory? Uh, yeah, paint can recycling. This can't be happening. 
Hi right, guys, can you hear? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What did you say? What did you say to me? Take it seriously, we lost a whole bunch of men. Yeah, but you didn't lose any women, did ya? Uh, up, up, up. What is that thing to your right? It was a ship. Okay. I think I had a weird water tower on it. Uh, is there radar towers? Yes. No, radar was. Was it World War II? Yeah, it was World War II. Because after World War II, they started coming out with a bunch of stuff using radar just for shoots and googles. Yeah, 1935. So, uh, developed by physicist Sir Robert Hudson Yacht. <laughs> nice name. Dummy. <laughs> I have no follow up for that. I'll just let that go. I don't know what clock you're talking about. I just know I'm shooting out a bunch of kamikaze planes. They should have had radar. Because it was invented in 1935 and Pearl Harbor was in 1941. Yeah, then they had radar. Was that not the question that I posed? Yeah. And you were checking if they did. And you said no? I said they should. Oh. That's how we messed it up. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of planes. Too bad none of them have landing gear and they're heading home. That's fine, they're all suicide bombers anyway. <laughs> they get home. Oh no. They don't even land, they just blow up on the ground. Apparently, there's only one confirmed. Uh, plane takedown someone got with a pistol they jumped out of their plane shot a another pilot in the head on the way down <laughs> using their like one pistol they're given oh. yeah. with the one bullet in it for yeah. suicides yeah because I guess he was trying to hit the guy that was parachuting out huh yeah. did that guy who jumped out survive yeah oh, okay yeah he's bonkers <laughs> did he go into the same plane or just like land in the water or something I think, like, he was like, he said it to a loopy loop, loop and got back in. Ah, <laughs> continue. Do, I don't need Do you want to continue? Yeah. Do you want to pick it up in the next video? Of course I do. Alright, with but more, uh... Medal of Honor, not yeah. Medal of the Gear. Aw. Uh. <laughs> Bye-bye. Goodbye.